right, so this weekend we're gonna go to an off-road park and I thought it'd be a good idea to take this little four-wheeler. This is actually my son's four-wheeler. But I thought it'd be cool to take this up there to kind of just get around around the event, kind of take our gear, our camera stuff, or whatever we have. If we have a cooler, maybe I could fit a cooler on here. Maybe not, it's pretty small. But yeah, I mean, it'd be better than having nothing. So it's been having this issue of actually flooding. FedEx, sorry. So yeah, this thing's been parked for a while because it actually floods and like there's an overflow and fuel just kind of dumps out of the carburetor after a while and it floods so bad. So I ordered this carb off of uh, Amazon, brand new carb, and it was like 15, no, I think it was like 20 bucks, but it has a new filter, air filter, has a new fuel filter in there. I think it was like 20 bucks. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll give it a shot, see if it helps. So today I'm just gonna be working on swapping out the carburetor and basically just getting this, uh, trying to get this four-wheeler ready. I guess uh, while I'm working on the carburetor, I'm gonna go in and start charging the battery because this thing hasn't ran in like six months. So more than likely, it's gonna have a bad or dead battery at least. Okay, so I got the uh, original carburetor off and I kind of took off, I took off the bowl just because I was curious to see why it wasn't actually working. And it is full of just like, sludge and like slime looking stuff it's really really nasty looking so i think it just clogged up the jet or you know i'm not sure what was going on but i'm sure it was just gunked up full of crap so it just wasn't running right so this is the original carburetor and this is the uh amazon one that i ordered uh let me pop off that filter there's the one major difference I noticed is the original one has like this electronic choke, which I've, I've heard it's supposed to have issues. This uh, It's like an automatic choke. And the Amazon unit, it's just like your typical manual choke. Gives you control over choking it or not. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's not a big deal to me. If anything, I like, I'd rather be in control of it myself rather than having an electrical issue choking when it's you know doesn't need to be choked or whatever. Just I'd rather be in control of that. So that's not a big deal for me. But besides that, it looks like it's gonna work uh, just fine. Yeah. So it's the same. It's gonna it's gonna bolt right up to the engine. I kind of put them next to each other, and the holes line up and everything. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work. Um, I guess there's no way of knowing exactly what jet this carburetor has. So I'm gonna put it up just right out of the box and see how it runs. And if it doesn't run right, I could always grab the the main jet out of this one and put it in this guy to get the original jet you know, the original jet size into the aftermarket carburetor. But first, I'm gonna see how it runs. It could run just fine with this, the way it is out of the box, who knows. Yeah, so I got the carburetor hooked up right now. I, I'm just running the fuel lines. I went ahead and put on the fuel filter out of that Amazon kit. The one that I had on there was freaking uh, humongous. So I don't know if this being so big would cause any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the small little fuel filter here. And these tiny little fuel lines, they actually have like these spring clips. Instead of like hose clamps, they're like these little spring locks. I don't know if you can actually see that. But yeah, I don't have enough of these. So what I've just been zip tying all the fuel lines, it should be good enough. I mean, it's not like, it's all like gravity fed. There's no pressure to the system or anything like that. So it, sh it should be fine. Just going to zip tie the uh, the fuel lines off and stuff. And up to the, uh, to the valve. Now I just need to run some hose from here to the carburetor. Might use this guy. Just cut off a little section. Whoa. Hope that battery took a charge. If not, I'm gonna have to buy a new battery. I mean, they're only like 20 bucks, but still, I'm just ready to ride this four wheel already. It's been sitting for a long time. All right, this should be the last of the zip ties. Got fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the valve on. Should be able to see the fuel filter full up with fuel. Let's see here. Yep, right away it filled up. That should be good. So yeah, I just gotta make sure the battery is charged up. And if not, it does have a kickstart, but 
uh, it works like half the time. So it was a tight fit because it's kind of hit of the starter, but I had to find a way to make it work because that filter probably adds about 20 horsepower. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it. I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna set the choke. Again, it is the factory jets on the Amazon car, so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. surprised with how good it runs like right out of the box that carburetor runs this kawasaki pretty good like i was saying i thought i was gonna have to like swap out the jets at least you know but whatever is in there now it seems to be jetted decently for a 50 cc engine so i think it's good enough just to leave it alone i, I went wide open throttle it didn't bog out or anything it just it revved all the way up and, and so it stopped going i mean this thing probably does like i don't know 10 miles an hour if that it's it's uh, just a 50 cc well, pretty much during hurricane harvey i had a lot of spare time i was basically stuck in my uh, brother's garage and i got about 95 percent done at uh reupholstering the seat here and it actually came out really nice i just got some like heavy duty vinyl from uh i think it was joanne fabric uh, that's what we have locally i don't know what y'all have but here locally we have joanne fabric it was just like this really thick outdoor grade vinyl and it's uh, waterproof it's stretchy it's pretty easy to work with but uh, basically I just gotta staple the back of it and then just cut the excess off. I just never got around to completely finishing this. And we're gonna be working with what looks like a toy stapler. Hopefully this is good enough to let's get the job done, but it, sh it should be fine. I'm basically just gonna go around the back and staple the vinyl to the, to the plastic board. Yeah, so I'm basically doing is just pulling the fabric tight. And as it's tight, I just shoot a stapler there to keep it in place. So I just gotta kinda work around this corner, clean this up a little bit. All right, that should be good enough. Uh, all the edges look pretty smooth. I do have like a little crease here, but whatever. It's not gonna be perfect. So I guess now I'm just gonna razor off all the excess and should be good after that.
Got it running, got the seat done. It's pretty much ready to go. I went ahead and ordered a new battery. It was like $22 because it would not take a charge. I had to basically jump start it with the, uh, with the battery charger. Uh, but it won't take a charge. It won't, uh, man, it's just fucked up. So I got a new battery. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go stop by Wicked Fab and see if they've made any progress with that turbo manifold they're building me. So I guess it's a wrap here. Let's go stop by and see if uh, Steve and Tommy are at the shop. Ask Steve to clean up your area. Take a look. Hey Tommy, can you pulling out those shirts and let's see? I I have, there's no fucking larges left, dude. Huh? I ordered like eight larges and there's no larges. Yeah, left. you really need to order more large than yeah. any of them. Let's large see. is the Yeah, on the wastegate, what size do you think? Do you think I, I'll be fine running the small 38 mil? Or the... I think the 38 will be fine, man. Okay, the next one's like the 40. Yeah, yeah, I think that 38 would be fine. Got it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try and do the Turbo Spark. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, Tile. Tile? Oh, that's. Uh, yeah, Tile is one that I can get cheaper. Okay. Man, I was thinking about just getting like a, another cheapie, but man, that's kind of an important piece. <laughs> Let's see what other shirts look like. There's Wicked Fat. Respect our power. Nice. It fucks. It fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a grog like in person. They're bigger than I thought they were. Damn near a full size bike. Yep. <laughs> this one's pretty fun. It'll be way better once the intake and the exhaust is done. Yeah. But it's a 181. It's got, I don't remember what pound injector it's got, but it's got a Honda injector. 181 CC? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's a 181 swap. Which is not that big compared to what a lot of guys are doing these days. Oh, me. Yeah. yeah. What'd you say? It's got the programmer and stuff. Okay. Injector, programmer, and then the 180, and then the 181. This is your buddies, right? Yeah, I mean, it's community. <laughs> community girl. <laughs> community girl. Yeah, I'd probably put 1,600 of that on it. <laughs> this thing's fun, dude. JC, boy. That, I did not even, yeah, I popped the hood, I didn't even think that was a Jay-Z swap. No. Do you know if it's the uh, turbo version? Yes. Oh shit. Baby twins. But these things spool fast. So it's like a 1J GTE? 1J GTE. Okay. Non VBTI. My buddy has a Lexus, so I'm kind of starting to get familiar with the Jay Z yeah. stuff. That's fun stuff, man. This is like the LSO over there. Oh yeah. If it costs more than the LS, they're fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, the price is going up by the day. Like, I was telling you, we're like importing all of these engines, so. Price Should do like over three thousand for the swap? Nah, I mean with it, the six speed and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five, like, with the full like depth, like the whole, the, the whole deal. But this long block, you're looking at like seventeen hundred bucks complete without oh, the train. Lot. For a long block <laughs> with the turbos and everything. That's not a long Turn block. Key. That's everything. Intake manifold and all that shit. That's what we call a long that's block. Still, that's still a lot more than LS. <laughs> it's gonna be a drift car or what? Uh, I want one of these, man. I like these cars. It's just so straight. Look how straight the body is. Yeah, it's like... 100% virgin. These cars have a crazy... They call it a drift tax. Mm -hmm. It's probably book value like 1500 bucks, but on the street it's like four or 5000 mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> so this little truck here is actually my dad's, and uh, it has a check engine light. It runs like shit. So uh, Stevie so happens to have a scanner. Just going to scan it real quick and see what's going on. These things are freaking awesome. I love these snap-on scanners. I actually use these at work. Engine, automatic with AC. Codes menu. Pending codes. EVAP. EVAP leak. O2 sensor, slow response, and cylinder six misfire. So yeah, that's why this truck isn't running so good. Let me get going. Just wanted to stop by real quick. 
Uh, I'll get with you this weekend about ordering the whiskey. Okay. All right, so to get you up to speed, I got the four-wheeler ready because the plan is to take that to the off-road park this weekend. It's at the Texplex Park, and it's somewhere around Dallas, a little bit south of Dallas. But uh, it's basically going to be like an open course. My buddy's taking his uh, F-150 Raptor up there. It's like a 2018 Raptor. But that should be a lot of fun. Should have a lot of good footage. So stay tuned for that because that's that should be a really good video. Um, Stop by Wicked Fab. He made some little bit of progress on the manifold. He he welded up those two center sections or rudders. He still got to run the outer ones. Uh, I got to order the wastegate this weekend before he makes any like good progress. I guess he still got to get the flange and test with the wastegate and all that. Uh, and also, I'm thinking about buying my dad's Ranger. He just offered to sell me this truck today. The light is on, but I put the scatter on there earlier. It basically just needs a, probably a coil pack and a O2 sensor. EVAP leak isn't a big deal. Could be anything from a gas cap to a cracked EVAP hose. Usually something simple. But I'm actually thinking about getting this truck. I thought it would be cool to kind of get this truck and do like a... Try to flip it. Put as little into it and try to get the most out of it uh that'd be kind of cool but yeah if you like this episode uh please like and subscribe see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>